welcome back to our channel. We're the Garcia Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. And we would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload. We're doing a get ready with us today, so we're just going to throw on some makeup. I think we have some newer products to talk about. Yeah, some things I don't think we've tried on in a get ready with me. Mm -hmm. So let's get into it. I, well, I'll probably put some Hollywood Flawless filter on underneath, but I'm going in with the Ulta Complexion Crush Foundation. This has still been my, like, go-to. And I've been mixing the shades Fair Neutral and Light Neutral, because if you watched my reel, Light Neutral is quite dark. So now that I am self-tanned, I usually self-tan on Fridays. We're filming this on a Saturday. Um, so the two together work really well. I'm gonna use the Kofi concealer all over. I saw State of Kate do this, and I've been loving this under my eyes. Um, and she put it all over as like a complexion product. So I'm going to do that because it looked really nice on her. I have the same shade she does, Ice Ice Berry, which is the lightest shade. Um, but she said that she reached out to the brand and that they were going to um, expand their shade range. So yeah, my skin's looking pretty good today. So I'm like, I think that this will be, because it is not, it's not like super high coverage concealer. But I think it'll be like a nice sort of like lightweight complexion product well we were just talking about how with the heat our skin was like freaking out like i have like breakouts all over my face yeah no i was it was looking bad and then today i woke up and i was like oh i feel like my skin looks better i don't know what happened but well the heat we'll just fill you in some mm -hmm. updates here it was hot literally for over a week here like hot hot like approaching 100, 100 degrees well, it was in the hundreds at some point right or at least our car said it was yeah um, we also like, got these new mirrors from H&M Home. I know, aren't they cute? They were like $12 originally. We used a code, so they were a little bit less than that. Really like weighted, but the mirror quality is actually really good. I'm going to figure out how to get this off the back. Like maybe with some um, nail polish remover it'll come off. Because I'm sure it's not cute from where you guys <laughs> are looking. It definitely looks nice all over. She was right. And I like how easy that is. When you have like something in a concealer vial to put on your face we always say that about the neutrogena like people don't like like the doe foot packaging but i always like that because then it's just yeah. like you can like apply it directly to your face yeah and yeah the shade match is actually pretty good for me i was like happy i could find a shade um and then we have these new milani under eye brightener like little squeeze tube things so i want to try this under my under eyes um this is a one rose, so it's like a, you know, standard, like, peach corrector, it looks like. And I have had dark circles since I stopped using my vitamin C. I've just been, like, too cheap to repurchase. I put too much um, foundation on, so I'm trying to So, use let's see if this helps. It does seem pretty, like, fluid and sheer. So, I don't know if it'll, like, brighten too much. Actually, I think it does. Should have done one eye so you can see a difference. But I think it did brighten up the blue under my eyes a bit. Cool. I need and to use it. It's very stuff. thin, which I love. Like we used to use the Pixie. Um, Pixie under eye brightener for years. But didn't I use that product for like seven oh, years, maybe yeah. so long? Because at the time it was like one of the only ones. It was. And then we used the Tarte Cosmetics, which I still love that, but I never really used it under a concealer because it was like thick so it was kind of like a concealer and it's on its own and then i got the charlotte tilbury one and i mm -hmm. do like it but like again it was a little bit heavy mm -hmm. so i just kind of stopped using it so this is definitely one that you'd want to use under because i are i do think it has like a little bit i think it's helped but you can see um kind of like the white undertone from it so i need to go over with my Kofi concealer on top when i mix two shades of foundation i just feel like i end up using too much so i'm trying to Get some off my face um anywho for me um there's no new concealers to see i'm just mixing the thick glow and the one size as always i'm I really, really, really so recommend I'll try that yeah i really recommend this concealer and it's not too expensive right no i think it's 26 you guys yeah. know that i love the kosas and for years i've like tried others well since it came out i guess it's been around for like maybe a little over a year but I've tried others, and I always go back to that. I think I've purchased, like, five tubes. Um, and then I was excited to try this because how they described it sounds like the Kosas. And I do think it's really similar. And I do think it has, like, a little bit more coverage. Um, oh, really? Yeah. So I really love it. And I, yeah, I really like it. I mean, we're going to Sephora like tomorrow, right? So maybe I'll oh, see yeah. If it's in store. Do they have that brand in store? I don't know, actually. It's a brand new brand to Sephora, so I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. 
I feel um, like ours doesn't get um, gondolas like other stores. Well, ours is we go to the Americana Sephora. We had a subscriber um, meet us there one time. Was, I know. It was so I, nice. I love that. Um, but um, it's one of the main Sephora stores. I just think that there, it's a high traffic store, so um, which I know from working in the industry. <laughs> Oh, it um, is one of the most popular? Yes, it's a high traffic store, they call it. So I, guess I think that makes sense. That it just takes, um, it does take longer for the updates because they don't have like a lot of down, like I, it just seems like there's oh, a lot going it. on. There's a lot going on. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Now I'm going to use, so again, from Milani, it's the liquid contour. It's number two ginger. This is really warm. I do want to yeah. see if there's like a more cool tone. But I love the formula. It reminds me, me so much of the beauty pie that I ran out of and they don't make anymore. Yeah, squeeze it up. Um, I wanted to use some drugstore products in this video. That is nice. I am still stuck on this Rose Ink Cream Bronzer since I've gotten it. Well, I have been using the Makeup Revolution one too, but this has just been my go-to. So I did that real where I like tried these products on, but I'm just gonna, you know, use it again on camera today. I just go right in with my brush because it's a very, um, it's not very emollient. It's very matte. So like not a lot of product picks up on the brush. Um, but yeah, like Britta said, this formula is like really good. Yeah. I just want a more um, like cool tone shade, but you'll see how it goes on it. Like it blends out really, well, I put a lot on this cheek. Maybe I won't go on top with more bronzer. I was going to use a powder bronzer on top, but it's just we use it. Yeah, that's true. We love bronzer in this house. Um, but yeah, it's like a really good level of pigmentation. It blends out really easily. Um, it's so thin, which is what I look for in like a liquid product because yeah. when things are like too thick, it can just like look cakey. Um, it doesn't like you can see it. It doesn't dry down fast, so I'm not like rushing to blend. It just like goes on really nicely. It's really nice. Like for a drugstore product, it's really good. Like you guys know, or maybe you don't, but I had talked about this, how I had finally gotten my hands on the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, maybe it was like earlier this year during the last Sephora sale and I didn't like it. <laughs> I thought it was so patchy, the contour, and it was $40. I'm like, I have to return this. Like, I can't keep so this. so expensive for a tiny tube. I know. It was like really crazy. So I think that this product is like, in my opinion, it's better. And actually, I don't even think I'm going to go over with more bronzer. I think this looks really nice. Don't you think? It does, but I wait still because I love bronzer, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll put a little bit. Yeah, this one um, is like very like natural looking, mm -hmm. I would say, um, but I'm still going over top. And like it's so, drink some water. this is so matte and like a thin formula that I can use my finger to put it on my nose and kind of blend it out. And then I just go over top of my beauty sponge. So I also love that aspect of it. I just love this bronzer. Again, if they like release more shades and I can find my perfect shade, mm -hmm. this would be the only cream bronzer I ever need. Now I'm going to go with the Rose Ink Highlighter. We talked about this in the shade Glancing. It's like the most perfect shade. Um, I yes. just use my finger. I'm just going to dab it on my cheekbones. Um, it's so pretty. It's the prettiest. And um, I did get my replacement, which was good. But one of you guys also commented that you tried to just get a like pan or like the packaging from them. And they also sent you a replacement. Like I... I feel like that's counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah, I think that they just them. don't have, it's probably just like more work for I them. guess, but it's just funny. I'm like, I don't need a new product. I just need a new yeah. compact. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go over my bronzer. I don't know, it looks good to me. And I think I might be overdoing it if I do that. So <laughs> next step, I was gonna use the Beauty Pie bronzer because I've also really been stuck on this. I know I oh, said really? Like, yeah, that it was really like warmer than I anticipated, but I've been loving it. I've been using it like ever. Okay, maybe I'll use a little bit. Maybe I'll go in now. Um, it's the shade, it's the light, or the second, or no, it's the lightest shade. I'll, I'll write it down below. I can't remember off the top of my head. Because um, they also use a refill system, so there's no bottom label, because I just put this in the compact. And I remember I did that whole reel showing both shades I got. This is the lighter of the two because the medium shade is actually warmer than this shade and um, I don't like it when bronzer is too warm. But yeah. this has like a nice yellow undertone and every time I wear it I've just been like, ooh, I look just like sun-kissed and like I just really like, I love how easy it is to blend for a powder. The finish is so nice and um, 
it just really blends like itself I can't really describe it but it has like one of the best powder bronzer formulas I've tried like Britta said with hers like if they could come out with like more of a cool tone yeah or just like neutral tone I would like be so obsessed I mean I'm already obsessed but I just I would like it even more I'm going over top with the Jaclyn cosmetics bronzer in vitamin D I've talked about this as well um, and I've really been liking it with this the Ariel Morphe brush a 3.2 at least with this like I feel like it is kind of helpful to like target where you're putting the bronzer I'm gonna use the M cosmetics blush stick in pearl tea I'm actually gonna put it on the back of my hand and then dip it in I don't want like too much I usually just go on directly on my face with these because they're another product that's like so blendable but I just want like a little bit of blush today like nothing crazy so doing this technique to use the ColourPop Voile Super Shock Cheek. This is one of the pearlized blushes. Um, I love this one. It's very like coppery. So I thought it was kind of fall like because fall's here, you guys. I know it's not technically here. God, but I have like so many dust particles on my face. I know. <laughs> Me too. I know it's not technically here, fall, but. We went to Trader Joe's. Well, Carly didn't. She had a thing yesterday. It just doesn't feel like great. Yeah. Um. But <clears throat> Tommy and I went to Trader Joe's, and the cinnamon brooms are back. It's filling the whole room. It smells so good, doesn't it? Yeah, it smells good. Cinnamon brooms are back. We got some pumpkin stuff. Um. It's just exciting. I. And then the weather. The weather is obviously the best part. I feel like honestly just grateful that the heat. Yeah. Was the on. heat was like really. It was rough. Like we haven't been able to do our coffee walks on the weekends. We <clears throat> the dogs like haven't been able to go on like longer walks because mm -hmm. it's just too hot for them. It was just not good for the whole week really. Yeah. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. I have to use this palette more. My Anastasia. What is this even called? Nuevo palette? And I still want to buy that and yeah. wait for the sale. Let me try to pick out what shade. I might just want to use this like metro shade. It's so fall like. Or the wing shade. I'm doing something different with my eyes today, but I'm going to do my eyebrows quick. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you just wait and see. Um, I'm just going to do my eyebrows quick. The ColourPop brow pencil and the Anastasia Brow Freeze with my little spoolie go. Oh, I feel like I'm going to be boring, but I think I'm just going to be boring. Really? Okay. And use, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this Fleur shade in my crease and then the Metro, like the more like burnt orange all over. And I'm going to go in with, oopsie, the Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot because, as I've said before, nothing holds my eyeshadows on like the paint pots. I wanted to tell you guys thank you for all your kind messages on our Q&A. Oh my gosh, that's so true. It was so nice. It made my day week really because they kept coming. Um, but we like being candid and open and it seemed like it went really far with you guys. So thank you so much for your kind words and for watching. Um, and one of you guys recently commented that you're excited for our fall content and then it made me think like what kind of fall content should we do so if you have anything you want to see from us let me know i thought that it could be fun to do i don't know how to do like cooking videos on youtube i forgot to set my face like, um, i feel like we're always oh, doing i know vlogs. we should yeah like i want to figure out a way to do like like a pasta recipe for youtube because i tried in the last vlog did you ever watch it where I put like the steps of the pasta. Yeah, I think so. I so it. it could be something like that, but like just the pasta steps, mm -hmm. but kind of like a vlog style. I don't know. And you know, our kitchen's really small. We need to fix the cabinet before <laughs> we do any more videos in there, but we could try to do something like that. I think it could be fun. And then obviously like fall fashion videos. I do think we could do some sort of like capsule wardrobe. Yeah. The video would be good. I saw a few people wanted that. Me too. And I just ordered a chocolate brown blazer from Mango. Oh, and I have that one I got from Abercrombie. Yeah, and so I feel like, yeah, like a brown and a black blazer. We both have the same black one from Zara. That's like a must have in my opinion, especially for the price. Um, and I feel like we have, we're getting like some pieces that I think that would be like capsule-esque. So we'll probably plan that. 
Yeah. But anything else you want to see, please let us know. And then we'll continue to do vlogs because I think you guys seem to like them and I really like to do them. Especially the one that we try to do every year of going apple picking. We went last year, right? No. We Wait, didn't. Wait, we didn't go? Why? Remember the day we were supposed to go? It was like really hot and we did like the boys didn't want to come and we like didn't get like driving oh. ourselves together. Well, that's lame. We're going to drive ourselves this year. Yeah. Well, we have other like exciting life events yeah. coming up. I don't yeah. want to talk about it yet. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can't talk about that until later on. But, yeah, we... It's personal related, not yeah. business. Yeah, not business. You um, will hear about it. Yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a video on it and possibly a Q&A. Um, actually, maybe it will be fun today and go in with that green. I haven't worn it yet. I'm wearing green. Okay. So, yeah, do it. So, I'm going to go in with Hope on my eyelid, just with my finger. I find this palette is the best when applied. The shimmers. I also, you guys, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Um, with the finger. The brow freeze is like just the best. Did you ever get the e.l.f. one? The e.l.f. version? Yeah, they sent it to us in PR and I started using it. Oh, do, do you like it? Yeah, I do. I just love the brow freeze. I think that it offers like the perfect amount of hold. It doesn't feel too heavy. It's not crunchy. It just does what I need it to do. I don't know how I ever like strayed from it. Okay, for my eye look today, I saw Alana Davis, Alana. I always say Alana. Why do we do that? Alana Davison do this green eyeshadow wing years ago, you guys, years. And I meant to recreate the look and I had bought this Maybelline Forest Green Shadow and this Milani Stay Put Eyeliner in Moss Boss to try to recreate it and I never did. But I had used this eyeliner before and I love this. Have you guys tried these? Like, I don't really buy anything from Milani. But this is like perfect if you're like me and can only manage like a tiny, tiny wing. It's so funny because then I just used all that, those Milani products too yeah. in this video. Um, and this color is like my perfect green. It's like green without being super obvious, but then with the shadow on top, I'm hoping it is more bold. So I think I'm just going to go in and I do have these shadows. What brand is this again? Lethal Cosmetics? Mm -hmm. I think I like, I always like how these look because they're very neutral. So I'm going to go in with these in my crease. If like you want to do, if you want to use this matte green, you can see this one. Oh, well, that looks very similar to this. Oh yeah. But yeah, thanks. Um, so I'm just going to put the paint pot on first and then, uh, it seems like Carly's going to be done before me. But what's, some what's new? Um, okay. I actually love this combo. Thank you guys for convincing me. I to be a little you. bit. <laughs> I can't even see. They didn't do it. But I'm going to go on the, my bottom lash line with this green. Um, maybe just on the outside. Like, it's like a matte green that I also haven't used in this palette yet. I need to use this palette. And I, I really need to get that palette. Yeah, it really, to me, is more of like a fall palette. I think it's so funny. They like launched it in the summer. It was like a summer palette. Because the tones. Yeah. I would say it seems more fall, but regardless, it seems like something anyone would like uh, all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I am going in with, I honestly don't know the shade names of these, but this like cooler toned brown for the crease, because I'm just going to do essentially like very light eye makeup since I'm doing the, I don't even want to call it a wing because I've never successfully done a wing. Yeah. It's just, you know, going to be eyeliner on the outer corner of my eye. With the eyeshadow on top but I did think that I could Ooh. use this matte green kind of in the outer corner as well anytime I put a dark shade on the, my outer lash line I always feel like it makes me look so tired but we're going to keep pressing do on. you see someone commented on your SPF video and said you look so much better without makeup I yeah. mean trolls but like <laughs> I don't. I guess it's it. like kind of a compliment. Kind I don't of know. A compliment, but it made me laugh. Yeah, I was like, whatever. I we don't let those things bother us. No, like I could literally care less. I know. Um. Oh, but I did. I placed. I actually should have grabbed the lip gloss because I've been so obsessed with the Victoria Beckham Apertivia lip gloss that I got. Um. But I also picked up one of the eyeliners, and I'm also obsessed with this. So it's the Victoria Beckham Satin. They're definitely my favorite brand. Victoria Beckham oh, wow. Satin Cajal Liner. I mean, think about it. Their bronzer is my favorite. Yeah, I love the bronzer. I, I did have, like I did have a reaction to the eye like pot things I bought, and it made yeah. my eyelids really red and burn, so I can't use those. Um, but I've always wanted to try like the shimmer palette she has because those shades are so pretty, and I just never bought oh, it. Oh, she has eyeshadows. Yes, people love oh, the matte palettes they when have, they came um, out. Oh yeah, I think they oh, have. They're top free brand. They're super clean. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so yeah, I 
I love that brand. I feel like I'm going to get my white shirt dirty. Um, but yeah, I bought the Coco eyeliner. So I'm just going to go in on the outer edge. I do want to try that lip gloss you were talking about. It's so good. Is this what I want to do? I think so. I'm just going to... I'm using this, my other... I don't know why I did this. Like, why did I do this? But the brush I usually use for my... Like, to deepen the crease. I used with the cream shadow the other day and then didn't wash it. So it was, like, hard. I don't know why I did that. I think it was just a mistake but so i'm using this little morphe detail brush that i do love to try to put some of that green in the outer corner before i go in with this wing i don't know this could this could just like backfire on me but i'm just trying something new because i didn't wear makeup yesterday i don't even know yeah i wore it thursday but like pretty i don't know i just haven't done like eyeshadow okay. yeah uh, yeah i feel like you know i like how this looks but overall my eyes just look smaller than usual that's okay just take some off with a q-tip that usually helps me i didn't bring that out here i have q-tips but yeah these eyeliners are so creamy and they last and this cocoa is the perfect like brown color i think it's really hard to find a brown that doesn't pull too cool tone when you put it on because then i feel like it looks yeah like dirty I, I agree with you and this is a perfect brown but now i'm just convinced that like everything victoria beckham does is just it I don't know if this is like what I want to do, but here we are. So, okay. I don't remember. I did do this once with this liner when I first got it. I'm just going to try to create a wing and then basically use this like angled brush with the shadow over top. So, wish me luck. It is going to go in with mascara. I'm going to use the... Isn't this green shadow pretty? It's like way more like bright green than I love my that. Um, NARS palette. Yeah, that's like more of a dirty green. Brooklyn so fierce. Britta like has been talking about this forever, and I had tried it a long time ago, and then I repurchased a tube, and she's right, it's really good. I don't know why, but you know what though? I have to put. I this does smudge on me when I don't set the outer corner of my under eye, and then I realize that why am I so bad at this? When it smudges, what am I doing? No, it's impossible for me to do it. I'm just gonna not do when it smudges, then it's like it really does like lock in, so then it's like really hard for me to get rid of that. So I'm just gonna put some powder right here. I have it kind of like, but I really love the color of this and I love this eyeliner. So I want to make this work. I think I just need okay, mascara done. I like how these eyes look. Um I have a new pattern, like a new one of the Patrick Top Brow Wax. So I'm gonna dig into this guy. I love the Patrick Top Brow Wax. And for a while I was like really stuck on the lamination gel. And then I recently reused this, or not reused it, like I went back to this and I was like, wait, I think I like this even more. Like I just really like it. So I haven't really been liking like filling my brows in too much. So they just look more like natural. Which maybe that'll look weird today with like this eye look, but um, I just like the look that the brow wax gets because it's more like fluffy and natural than like a lamination effect. Okay, I think this is pretty. Here, can you look when you get a chance? You have one second. It's really pretty. Yeah. I need to get, can you guys tell me what brush I need to use next time? This like hurt my eye and it wasn't laying down enough products. So I kept having to go back in. I don't know what to use, but like I need something that's maybe like a little more fluffy so that it picks up a little more product. But I think the combination of these two greens is like perfect, honestly. Yeah, that's a pretty green. It's like a blue green. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, mm -hmm. the four, it's called forest green. But this liner, man, I need to use that way more often. I'm like already moving on to lips, but that's okay. Okay, sorry. No, I'm, it's fine. I'm just going in with my Victoria Beckham O2. Again, all time favorite lip liner is this lip liner. I just love Victoria Beckham products. If they could send us PR, that would be, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? That'd be Oh no. Best. I'll get that later. Okay, I'm finally going in with mascara. Um, I'm just gonna use, I've still been mixing the Beauty Pie and the Red And then MAC Taupe Lip Oil. Okay, these eyes are great. I think yeah. I'll redo this again. Oh yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Cool, okay. Lips. I decided to pull out, I actually went through my lip liners the other day and I forgot that I bought this. It's the ColourPop Libby Pencil in the shade Ashton. Um, not sure if I bought it because of the name 
or the color. I love Ashton Kutcher forever and ever. Um, but it's a, a cool tone brown, so I'm going to mix this with the Urban Decay lipstick in What's Your Sign because it's like a little more pinky, so I thought it would be a good combo. What highlighter do you have on? The rare, or rare, the, the rose ink one. Okay. But this is pearlized too, so it's also shiny, mm -hmm. the blush. It looks good. Yeah. Well, what are you guys excited to do for fall? Because we need ideas. We haven't made like a fall bucket list yet, unless you Oh, did. we have to do that. Okay, yeah, we'll do that this weekend. Yeah. Um, this Smelling the cinnamon brooms has definitely put me in the mood I know. for all things fall. And football starts tomorrow. Yeah, and football starts tomorrow. The Packers don't play until... Do they play tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were like they a Thursday They play the Vikings oh, okay. in Minnesota. Okay, well, football starts tomorrow. We love football. We love watching it. We love going to like a sports bar and watching it. That's like our favorite. Like we used to do that all the time when we first moved to LA. I think we talked about this. And they're like some of my favorite like memories of when we were younger. Yeah. And more fun. Um, I would like to do that tomorrow if we had time. But we, mm -hmm. we were saying we have a lot to do this weekend because yeah. we have. Mm, maybe this combo is no good. Oh God. It's not bad. Okay. But yeah, that um, the Urban Decay lipstick that I have, what would look to go with that? The um, Oh God, you guys, one second. One? I need to get a new one. Okay, I'm sorry. That was not working for me at all. <laughs> I hated that combination. I'm just going to do my usual. The Jaclyn lip liner and butter pecan with the Juvia's place lipstick I've been loving. Yeah, that Jaclyn lip liner always looks really nice. It's so nice. I want it. Um... Also, like, what fall makeup products are you loving or, like, excited to use? Like I said, when are the I sets think kind of going to, I know. Well, um, I do know that they usually, they start mid-October. Um, oh, I feel like sooner, I swear. The Anastasia Nuevo palette, like I said, I think this will be a great palette for fall. I'm, like, really excited to use a lot of these tones that I haven't really had a chance to use yet. Um, still the NARS Climax palette is like my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette and I think it's like the perfect fall winter palette. So More than this one? Yeah. I love that palette. Like the, just the like, it's so dirty. Like it's just like, like cool tone, like dirtier shades. Like grungy-ish. Yeah. And I just like love that look in the fall and the winter. Um, and there's a lot of like blues and greens in that one, which really get me. Yeah. Um, and even like the brown in that palette is really nice, so. I still love that palette. I also look tired today, but again, I think it's like the change in weather and mm -hmm. I don't feel super tired. I just look I don't tired. either. I just look, yeah, I woke up looking tired and then I put dark colors on my bottom lash line and my top, but that's okay. Just gonna add some. I know, I was thinking about adding more concealer, but eh, I don't think you need it. So yeah, let us know. The fall, the things on your fall bucket list, things that we should do. Um, yeah, we have like to make fall content ideas you want to see. Yeah. Um, fall makeup that you're either going to purchase or you're excited to like pull out of your collection and use again. We'd love to hear that. And then if you have like a favorite fall dish and like recipe you make, would also oh. love to hear that. We would love to hear it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my final look. I actually really love it. I love how the eyes turn. So out. is it like a brown with the green? Yeah, I just did like the brown shadow in the crease and a little bit of that like army green on the outer corner, like mm -hmm. just slightly, and then the wing. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. And it's well, like, out of my comfort if you zone. really like that, the Victoria Beckham green eyeliner looks really no, great. No, you have to try this. I'm like honey. shocked at how good it is. Yeah. They're like, probably really similar. Budge. We've talked about this before, but we work in the industry and like there's like one supplier that makes like pencil. There's not one, but. There's yeah, one that see. makes all the good pencil eyeliners, and they high if 90% probability. Yeah, yeah, in Germany. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. Germany. It's the same vendor. Yeah. <laughs> so you're really like this packaging is much more elevated than that. Yeah, but, but this is nice for drugstore. Yeah, but I'm just saying it's color match. Yeah, that formula is probably pretty similar. Yeah, it's. I mean, I'm just. Look, please tell me, have you tried these? What are, are they there, called? Uh, the Stay Put Eyeliner, but it's so, like, I'm just shocked at how creamy it is, and you can still, like, there's playtime. You can blend it out before That's how this dries. one is, too. Yeah, before Maybe it dries. Maybe they're a dupe. <laughs> Maybe, actually. Yeah, we should look it up. The Milani Victoria Beckham. I mean, like I said, same vendor makes all these. Yeah. <laughs> these eyeliners, so most are dupes, but. I am the color. This Moss Boss shade, like, Mm -hmm. It's yeah, maybe amazing. I'll get that too. Yeah, order some others. I remember I ordered it. I think I got it even on Amazon because mm -hmm. I was like trying to find 
screens because I should say in the video Alana used like expensive she used like a MAC pencil and an expensive shadow and I was like well I just want to see if I like this look mm -hmm. so I wanted to buy drugstore alternatives um and I do I do so maybe I could get like a MAC shadow or something mm -hmm. instead of the Milani one but I'm sticking with this thank you guys so much for watching we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in our next video